I've always been a big fan of Canva for creating social media posts, ebooks, and more, but I've recently discovered a new program called Typeset. Hi there, my name is Dee, and I'm a social media marketer and course creator at DD Creative. Now, Typeset used to be called Drop Deck. Back in the day, Drop Deck was a program that used to create slide decks, but it's now evolved into something pretty damn awesome. The term typeset is the process of arranging text and images on a page, so the new name fits perfectly. Typeset is essentially an AI-powered visual content designer. It combines artificial intelligence and design principles to generate visual content that looks amazing. It's a program that's pretty awesome for those who don't have a designer background as it does pretty much everything for you. You can select different formats and layouts for your ideas, from presentations to A4 documents to social media posts. Typeset will also find images for your content, and the most exciting addition is the AI mode that can help you to brainstorm your content. So let's take a look at what you can create with Typeset. First of all, you will need to go to typeset.com and sign up for a free trial. Once you've signed up, log in and take a look around. To start, all you need to do is go to the top right hand corner where it says New Deck. Click on that. And you will find your editor on the left of your screen. Anything you enter here, will populate on the right hand side of your screen. So for example, I'm just going to type in a title. So, Typeset introduction. So you can see what I've typed here as the title has populated on the right hand side. Now the slides will update in real time, which is pretty cool, as you can see how things look as you type. And the best thing is that everything is automatically saved so you won't lose your work. Now, looking at this tile, you'll see here, when we hover over the tile, this is what we call the magic wand. Clicking on the magic wand gives you the option to change the layout of each slide. You can also change the colors of your theme. So, for example, I'll click on this tile here and centers the title of the tile. Now, if I want to create a new tile, I'm going to type forward slash VR, which is a page break. And welcome to typeset. If I want to change this to a subtitle up the top here, subtitle, and it becomes a little bit smaller. I can add bullet points. There's so much I can do. So for example, at the top, let's do some bullet points. And you can see everything is populating on the right. Now again, if I wanted to change the format of this tile, I click on the magic wand. And now I've got all of these options here. So let's try that one. And the magic wand closes again. Now also another option is to click on the left hand side and this little uh, icon here is for templates. If I clicked on that, I can add images. So let's change it to this one here. If I want to replace the image, click on replace. So for example, if I want to search for a different image, I'll type in a keyword that might relate to that image and press enter. And now I've got all of these other images that I can change to if I prefer. Click on the image, you'll get that little check mark and then click update image. Now of course that doesn't quite work for the style of the tile. So we're going to hover here again. 
Now that looks a bit better, of course. So the image is showing in a much better format and that actual, that actual slide looks so much better. Now all you can do, um, you can continue on, you can add another page here or you can type in forward slash BR for a page break. Either way is going to work for you. There are a lot of um, small prompts that you can learn as you go along. I don't know them all. I only know some at this stage. All I need to do is click on the plus sign and I can scroll through all of these options. I can add a button that will link to any URL. So if you were creating a, a PDF document, for example, and you wanted to add a button to a link, you can do that. You can add code, you can add charts, um, you can add GIFs. There's so much here and they're updating on a regular basis. So you've got all of these at the top. If you wanted to undo something, you just click on the undo arrow. Titles can be changed to sub subtitles, normal quotes even. So we'll go here and I will add a quote, for example. And I can change the layout of that quote. And even if I wanted to change the template of that particular quote as well, I can scroll through and see what else there is. And I think I just like the one that is currently on the screen. Once you've completed your creation, you can make some changes if you like. On the right hand side, the second little button you will see, you can change to preview it as a document. You can make it a wide set. You can make it a square for uh, Instagram or Facebook posts even. Yeah, you can you can make it tall and you could make banners. So I'm just going back to the presentation which I had originally. I can also download or export my creation by clicking this down arrow and you're given the choices of downloading as a PDF or as JPEG images. And of course you can change the orientation to landscape or portrait and then click export. You can also share your presentation. You need to copy a link or you can share directly. And you can also preview it as an actual movie or slideshow. All I do is click through on the arrows and if you wanted to create a, a webinar, for example, this would be perfect. All you need to do is set your screen share and open up your presentation and you can do that straight from Typeset. Now, keep in mind that Typeset is still fairly new, but the team are updating features on a regular basis. I've only been using it for a little over a week and I'm already seeing some positive changes. So if you found this program inspirational, you can test it out with a free trial. Simply go to typeset.com and check it out. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials on Typeset.